Hi everybody, welcome back. We're looking today at Jeremy Duff, Elements of New Testament Greek. We're in chapter 12, section 12.2. We're thinking about third declension nouns. Just a quick one today, uh, a couple of quirks with one particular group of nouns, the so-called family group. If I was going to make some cheap gag or other to help you to remember this, I'd probably say something like, it's the family that causes all the trouble. But that's not true. But now I've said it, you'll remember it anyway. In particular, you'll remember that pater, patros, meter, metros, and hethugater, thugatros are slightly quirky. You can work out what these mean even without looking at Duff to get the answer, I'm sure. If I tell you this is a family group, um, pater, come on, father, meter, mother, Thugater might be a little bit more tricky. Uh, this means daughter. Daughter. Ah, uh, writing's off pot. Doesn't matter. You know that. Father, hopater, patros. Uh, mother, hemete, metros. And thugater, he, uh, daughter, he, thugater, thugatros. Now, there are some quirks in the declension. Let me just show you quickly. Uh, Duff on page 137 has got this, uh, the paradigm he, he uses for... Uh, Showing you the declension is hopater um, patros. I'm just going to show you it with meter metros, just because it's a bit different. Uh, but the uh, as in the word is different, but the pattern is exactly the same. And just to show you how the pattern is the same, uh, be a little bit useful, hopefully. So we start with this meter metros, and we try and generate the declension in the usual way. So we know it's feminine, so it declines in the same way as the masculine aster asteros, and Meter is the nominative singular, so we can write that one in. Meter, remembering this is singular, that's plural. Nominative, accusative, we've got the ending a. Genitive, os, metros, metros. Dative, i, s, as, own, sin. So far, so good. But you've noticed that there are a couple of other vowels that have found their way into the stem. What's going on here? Really, this is just a slight irregularity, but actually it is quite easy to at least remember it, even if you can't find any rationale for it. Basically what happens is, in the top half of the declension, you get an extra epsilon in all of the forms that are not included in the lexical form. Does that help you to remember it? All of the forms in the top three quarters of the declension that are not the lexical forms, which are these two, you get an extra epsilon in the place you'd expect it to be, meter, like mother, meter, meter, here, matching the vowel there. That's fairly straightforward, at least to rationalise. Then what you've got to remember is, yep, something weird happens in the dative plural. Uh, well, how do you remember this? Well, I'm not sure, except to say that you can rationalise it on the level of pronunciation, because to have a row followed immediately by a sigma is quite difficult. So if it were meter, meter sin, meter sin is tricky to pronounce. And so what actually happens is uh, matrasin. Sorry, it wouldn't be meter, it would be matrasin. Matrasin would be very difficult to pronounce, matrasin. And therefore matrasin, this again is just a pronunciation thing that finds its way in. Annoyingly, it's an alpha and not an epsilon. Sorry about that, but I told you, family's the source of all the trouble, but also the source of all the blessing. And therefore, think of your family or your family to be when you are learning this slight quirk to the third declension. Okay, that'll do. I think we're going to move on in the next video, and we're going to look at Newton nouns with consonant stems. Really, really straightforward. Once you've got these, they're really, really intuitive, really easy. And then, boy, we are over halfway through the chapter by that point, so it's very straightforward. Keep going at it, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, five or six days a week, and we'll have you nailing this stuff and reading the New Testament in Greek in no time at all. God bless.
Bye for now.